Most homeowners go to their local big box store, pick up a common weed killer, mix it with water, spray it, and call it a day. You'll get okay results by doing this, but what if I told you there is a much more effective way to apply your weed killer to ensure you get the fastest, most efficient kill possible? Looking for the steamer, my lawn look like I pull up in a beamer. Yes, it's true. On the other side, my grass does look a little greener. Uh, I'm going to take you through the process of getting a fast and efficient kill. But first, we need to make sure we're targeting the correct weeds with the herbicide we choose. Now, if you only have a few types of broadleaf weeds or some simple clover, you can definitely go to your local big box store, pick up a cheap herbicide that is labeled for that specific weed you're trying to kill, and that should work just fine with the process we're going to use. But chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably have an infestation of weeds that haunts you at night. And that's when we pull out the big guns. In these situations, we should be using a three-way or a four-way herbicide to kill as many weeds as possible in one application. They call them three-way or four-way herbicides because that's how many active ingredients are in the weed killer. The more active ingredients, the more potential for that herbicide has for killing a broader spectrum of weeds. The herbicide we're going to use today is called Speed Zone. Speed Zone is a four-way herbicide and is labeled to kill over 100 different weeds. Even if you have a weed infestation, this one herbicide application should take out about 95% of them. I don't know what happened this year, but the weeds have gone insane in my area. If we look around my lawn, we have dandelions, thistle, some basic broadleaf weeds, along with a clover community that is trying to take over my lawn. This one herbicide is labeled for all of these and should smoke them all, especially with the process we're going to use. I also want to make it clear that I'm not sponsored by Speed Zone in any way in this video. I've used this product in the past and it's just an awesome product to use. So what is this special process that I claim will make our herbicides work faster and more efficient? Well, that is using urea and citric acid as an adjuvant. Those words might sound intimidating, but they're really not. Let me explain. First, let's define what an adjuvant is. An adjuvant for herbicides is a substance or product that is added to a herbicide formulation to enhance its performance and efficacy. Adjuvants are not active ingredients themselves, but rather assist in the effectiveness of the herbicide. By using adjuvants, herbicide applications can be used for better coverage and for better absorption. First, let's talk about urea. Urea is a very common, potent fertilizer. It is also the cheapest fertilizer you can buy. By using urea in our herbicide mix, we are going to be accomplishing a couple of things. One is that it acts like a surfactant or wetting agent. What that means is it'll allow our herbicide solution to spread out along the leaves of our weeds and stick to it, instead of just landing on them and beating up into little water balls. This is important because we need the weeds to uptake the solution from their leaves. And if we have poor coverage, that means it's uptaking less of the herbicide. Urea is also a fertilizer, which means it will accelerate how fast our herbicide gets to work within that weed. George from Princess Cut Lawn Care explains this in his latest video by using ammonium sulfate instead of urea. Another benefit to spiking our mix with ammonium sulfate is that at its core it's a nitrogen fertilizer and plants need nitrogen to survive. So it tricks the plant into uptaking it more efficiently and it thinks it's getting nutrients but at the end of the day it's just getting more herbicide put into it. Princess Cut Lawn Care has an awesome channel with tons of DIY hacks for the average homeowner. He also shows results in most of his videos which is something that I think is very important. If you haven't subscribed to him yet, definitely go do it. The second ingredient we're going to talk about is citric acid. This would only be used in a couple specific scenarios, but they are actually common scenarios. Citric acid is not some fancy scientific chemical or anything like that. Citric acid is actually a common food product that you can pick up at your local grocery store or even on Amazon for very cheap. The people that will be adding this adjuvant would be those with a high pH. Lowering the pH with citric acid can improve the overall performance of herbicides especially those containing the same active ingredients that are found in Speed Zone. These herbicides are known to work more efficiently in slightly acidic conditions. Also, if you have hard water, the citric acid will help your weed killer with that problem. Hard water contains high levels of calcium and magnesium, which can interfere with the performance of herbicides. By adding citric acid to the herbicide mix, you can effectively chelate the high levels of calcium and magnesium. This helps prevent these minerals from interfering with the herbicide's performance. So today we're going to run an experiment where we mix our citric acid and urea in one of our mixes and put it on this side of the yard. 
And then we're just gonna put our herbicide by itself on the other side of the yard and see which works better. For every 1,000 square feet we're going to cover, we're gonna use one gallon of water along with three and a half ounces of urea. That will give us 0.1 pounds of nitrogen that we're gonna be adding to our mix. If you have a high pH in hard water like I do, we're gonna add a little less than one quarter of a teaspoon of citric acid per gallon. Yes, this is a tiny bit of citric acid, but this stuff goes a very long way. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you mix the citric acid first, then add your urea and your herbicide last. The label on Speed Zone calls for 1.1 to 1.5 ounces per thousand square feet. If you guys are in the market for a new backpack sprayer, I would 100% recommend this Flow Zone Cyclone. I used to have the, cha uh, the Chapin backpack sprayer and it doesn't have variable speed, which really sucks for me because I like to walk fast. If you have a very slow walking speed or a very fast walking speed, this is the backpack sprayer for you because you can adjust how fast you're actually putting out gallons per minute. One more thing I want to add is that these padded backpack straps are awesome. With the Chapin, they were super thin and you just had the hard plastic bucket on your back. With this, you have this padding right here. You can strap it up and click these around. It just fits very well. I would definitely recommend this thing. If you guys wanna purchase this backpack sprayer, I'll leave a link in the description below. So it's been five days since we put down both of our mixes and I can confidently say that one winner has came out on top and that is definitely the urea and citric acid mix. Here's some shots after 48 hours of the citric and urea mix versus just the herbicide by itself with water. You can clearly see that the urea and citric acid mix are way ahead of just the herbicide. Fast forward five days and it looks like there's actually some full kill in the citric acid and urea side. Compared to the herbicide and water side, you can definitely see that it's doing damage. It's just a couple of days behind the citric acid and urea mix. If you guys are going to put down herbicides, I would 100% recommend putting down a Juvens with that herbicide if you want a faster kill. Also, just another thing to note, summer is coming up super fast, so if it's very hot outside, be careful putting down herbicides. I would recommend doing it in the evening, that way it has time to penetrate during the night, and then you can wash it off in the morning with irrigation. If you're looking at your lawn right now and it's 90% weeds and barely any grass, Killing the weeds with a herbicide might not be for you because you'll have barely anything left when you're done. Another option for you might be to do a lawn renovation. You can learn all about lawn renovations in this video right here. I'll see you guys over there. Now get off my lawn.